Why is storytelling important to you? I guess I feel like to some degree it's um, a service, um, not like a like a car repair service, but you're you are in service to storytelling, whether it's, you know, nobody starts and makes money. So, or few people do. So if you're telling stories, then it's because you want to, like you would, you're spending time with these characters and building this world without, most of the time, without anyone watching, without anyone seeing. And so you're, alone with it, but you're making it to give to other people. So it's a service. You are at the service of the reader, the audience, the whoever is experiencing whatever you're making and whatever medium or media as the case would be. Um, so I guess it's important to me because I feel like I'm helping a little bit. Um, for what? What do you help? Stories give people somewhere to go f away from all this shit. From to suspend their disbelief to go hang out with a, a hitman who's a vampire and drive around and kill some people. Uh, that is an escape for people. It is somewhere to go. It is suspension of disbelief. Stories have been around since the beginning of time because that's what we all sat around and did because it was really shitty Wi-Fi when you're a caveman. And <laughs> so people were telling stories and drawing stuff and, and be, then it's, you know, then it's just verbal. Then it's just one generation telling the next generation, telling the next generation until you can start writing that stuff down. So I, and, and stories are, man, you can get people killed with stories. You can change people's lives with stories. You can, a whole country can believe a story and and do really bad things and have been done yeah yeah storytelling is is really powerful that suspension of disbelief thing the real world uses it all the time it's not just for storytellers what about if a writer says storytelling for me is a selfish uh, motive is a selfish endeavor and I make no apologies for it. I love creating other worlds. It doesn't even mean I need people to love the story. I just love to be. Yeah, that, that, it's, that sounds fantastic, but <laughs> that storytellers, the whole not needing anyone thing is then no one's going to see your shit, man. You're, you're just going to type and just like, I'm just going to fill up hard drives with stories because I love it so much and I'm so great. Uh, really? Are you just waiting until you die and then someone's going to publish all your stuff? And No. I, I think that person's... If maybe if that's what it takes for them to be able to write, great. But the reality is if no one sees it, then, you know, like screenplays are maps for movies. They're not meant to be read. They're meant to be made. So all the movies that I have written so far have not been made and will not be made. And that's okay. That's, uh, some of them are shitty. Um, a couple of them I'm probably going to adapt into books because they were fun to write then. And they would be, I think, more fun as a book and I wouldn't have to deal with trying to get it done. Um, and also, if I was to make a movie, it would be indie, and I know what it's like to be crushed by production. I would never make a movie at this point, um, just because I can't do anything else when I'm making a movie. Uh, I know people have made movies. It's two years, pretty much, at least, all the time, full time. Um, and. And it's really expensive and it takes a lot of people and it takes a lot of people who have to stay with the project. It's really hard to keep people motivated when they're not making a lot of money. And most likely I'm making a movie where they're not making a lot of money. And then after I have that movie made, then I have to get people to watch it. And all of that seems like too much to do for me, for the amount of time I've got left on the planet and for 
what else I think I could achieve in the same amount of time. Um, and also, I could make a shitty movie. So <laughs> I'd hate to spend two years making shit. 